Well, good morning. Really haven't done many garden updates this year. Uh, we've been busy. But as you can see, it produced a lot. We've got pounds and pounds of peppers, hot peppers, chili peppers. Looks like uh, that corn we planted late is still going. It won't do anything though. Every day we've been pulling about 20, 30 pounds of tomatoes. Been making tons of tomato sauce. Um, made some great salsa. The lawn got zapped with the three, four days of 100 degree weather. We were out of town and I didn't water. Fuji tree, those will pick in about three weeks. And they make, we we squeeze them for cider and they make the best cider. There's not as many. We may not end up squeezing them. There's not as many this year. Last year the tree was loaded. This year not so much. Huh. Oh well. But this is what we're after today. Look at this plum tree, it's full of plums. Dropped the leaves, I hope it didn't die. It looks like it got zapped with the hot weather. Um, plums, or I mean the uh, pears. And the pears are still on there. Uh, we got tons of those, probably processed. So this is what we're after today though. So the honey crisp, honey crisp tree. So I'm gonna pick as many of these as I can. And they're all very good, but they go, they do spoil pretty quickly. I don't have a cellar to put them in. So I'm gonna make applesauce today. Well, unfortunately, this is about all the viable fruit I got. Uh, we picked the tree a little too late and I missed one spraying this year. So a lot of them had apple maggots or they were bird pecked with ant colonies living in them. That's okay, you know kind of sucks losing a lot of hunting crisp but uh, you can't fit everything into a summer I guess this will be enough to make a nice bunch of sauce though so let's get in and do that by the way here's this morning's harvest of tomatoes that I'll have to deal with and then this the other day we got all these peppers so let me get on to the apple peeling and coring if you have apple trees or come across a lot of apples you should get one of these apple peeler core slicer gizmos. It makes everything so much easy. Check this out. that you got peeled apple cord this one has some I don't know those are seeds a little browning in the tissue but yeah those are just seeds no worms good we'll do another angle here you just lift that up press that back put the apple on and I think this one does have a wormhole yeah that's fine it's a bird bird pack there we have it pretty cool here's about 10 apples this will be enough for one batch I'm gonna do them in the instant pot so to do these in the instant pot it's really easy uh, you have a half cup of water in there I'm going to put probably about a half teaspoon of cinnamon, a little pinch of kosher salt. I'll do that right now. And then um, freshly ground nutmeg. I'm going to grate in probably a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground nutmeg. Put the apples in, put the juice of one lemon on top. Some people like to sweeten at that point. I think the apples are sweet enough as is, and it's, you know, less sugar in my kid's diet, the better. But if you want, you can add some brown sugar, half cup. Some people add maple syrup. I personally like a more tart applesauce. So I'm gonna show you when it's all in there. Okay, the apples are all in there. Like I said, I did freshly grated nutmeg. There's a little bit. Microplane nutmeg. Uh, if you were to buy ground nutmeg in the store, it probably tastes like sawdust. It loses its flavor very quickly. It has, it has very volatile oils in it. Here's the juice of one lemon. 
and it's pretty simple in an instant pot. They call it an instant pot for a reason. I'm going to do manual pressure, high pressure, and I'm going to do five minutes. That's it. Five minutes, we'll have our applesauce. All right, let's pop it open and see what we got in here. Oh, wow, those are nicely cooked down. Look at that, let me grab a spoon. So I'm gonna make a couple more batches, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make a couple more batches like this, put them in a big pot and let it reduce. It's, it's a little watery. I might food mill it too, we'll see. Mmm, smells amazing. So this, this is a little too chunky for me. So what I'm doing is I'm putting them through the food mill. Comes out perfect applesauce. Do a few more batches this way and we'll see how much we end up with. Okay, here's our final result. A whole bunch. A little over a gallon of really nice, tangy, beautiful applesauce. I definitely did need that food mill step because uh, there were still a few pieces of peel left on. You know, that core slicer uh, doesn't get 100%. So there were still a little few tough pieces in there. And uh, the, the food mill just assures that you got really smooth, nice applesauce. Uh, it's a little tart. Uh, the lemon juice definitely provides some of that tartness. I did not add sugar. It tastes great. Some, you know, to some people's palates, they may prefer a little sugar, maybe brown sugar or maple syrup. Personally, I love it this way. The, uh, the ground nutmeg and the cinnamon really just make it awesome. So anyway, that's our applesauce. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks, and like and subscribe, please.